Hi, this is Lindsay and this is your weekly news update from openmedia.ca. This week's news centers largely on Canada's digital deficit. We're lagging in all four key areas of our digital economy, speed, openness, affordability, and content. Akamai has just released this quarter's State of the Internet report, which shows Canada continuing to fall behind on several of these key metrics. We've moved from 9th to 14th place in average broadband speed, and the Canadian carrier that did make the list for mobile broadband speed ranked dead last. The CRTC also released figures this week, which showed an increase in the number of complaints about internet service providers slowing down or throttling the internet. Network management that discriminates against specific content or applications is currently a violation of the CRTC's rules. It's become clear that throttling falls under the umbrella of these rules as many Canadian ISPs have scrapped their plans to throttle, saying that it's just not necessary. Rogers is one of the few ISPs that admittedly continues to throttle. This big telecom company is also in the hot seat after seeking court approval to lie to customers. That's right, Rogers claims that their cell phone company Chatter had fewer dropped calls than new wireless carriers which they had never tested, and was later proven to be untrue. Rogers is firing back against complainants by trying to convince an Ontario court that the freedom of expression law gives them the right to produce false and misleading ads. Our final piece of news, on Saturday, which was Data Privacy Day, Ontario's Privacy Commissioner made an impassioned speech which slammed the government's proposed online spying bills. In an interview with the CBC, she reminded Canadians that the bills would allow surveillance that is warrantless, invasive, and costly. That's your update for this week. Thanks for watching. For the internet, this is Lindsay with openmedia.ca, signing off.